So we're going to be talking about the centering pin now. If you notice in neutral that your shifter has a whole lot more play in one direction like this. Look at that. This is a common case of a centering pin that needs to be adjusted. So if we look at it, that's what it should do. But because it's way out of adjustment, look at that, it stays. It doesn't even return to center. So as we talked about in the install videos, right now the shifter is not in synchronization with the transmission. We're going to put it back. To begin adjustment, make sure it's in neutral. Then loosen the adjustment screw. Loosen it just enough. Once it's loose, put the transmission into third or fourth gear. Once it's in gear, you can tighten it back up. And theoretically, it should be reset. If you're like us, and that technique didn't do anything for you, this is what you might try. So to understand what you're doing when you're manually adjusting the self-centering spring, you need to orient yourself. So if we come in, you can see the spring move, and when I release it, it goes back to touch the stopper, which is controlled by the self-centering spring that you can adjust. Get another look. You see it move, and it rests against the stopper. There's one of those springs on each side. The stopper that you see in the middle dictates where the spring hits and therefore stops. So when the spring hits that stopper, that's where it leaves it. So by adjusting that, will dictate where the center of your shift lever sits in neutral and also how much play it has from neutral. The simpler way to adjust it is put the transmission in third gear. Ours is pre-adjusted. However, yours might have more play to one side versus the other. So what you'll do is go from behind and loosen the self-centering screw like we showed you earlier. But instead of just leaving it in gear and tightening it down, you need to go in and with your finger, physically move that stopper so that it's in the position you want to stop the spring from moving. If you really want to get perfect, use a feeler gauge. We personally use one that is about 15 thousandths. And what you'll do is you'll open the shifter so that it opens this gap, and then you'll put the feeler gauge in and let it close. And what you'll do is you'll set that gap between the spring and the stop on both sides. So there's one on each side to be perfectly equal. So again, that's the stop, and this is the spring that touches the stop. When you have that in the perfect position, go ahead and tighten up your centering spring from behind, and come up. Still in gear, you can check the play. And the entire time when you push back and forth, you'll feel spring tension. Keep in mind, CAE wants no more than a difference of five millimeters in play from side to side. In neutral, you'll also have even play if you adjust your centering spring like this. Once your self-centering spring is set, it's time to adjust each individual gear. So if your self-centering spring is correct, third and fourth are done for you. 
if third and fourth are difficult to shift into, you need to go back and get the self-centering spring perfect. Then you can come on to this. Now you'll be adjusting these different set screws. These three. The one right here is for first gear. And what that screw does is it dictates how far this lever will go over to allow you to get into first and second gear. So if it didn't have enough travel to get over there, you'll notice mine's hitting that rod. So if it didn't have enough travel, I would want to loosen this up so that the lever can go over further and get into gear. Mine is adjusted perfectly. So it hits the stopper screw and bam, first gear, second gear. That's a properly adjusted set screw. You're gonna be doing that for first and second, and then fifth and sixth, and finally reverse. This set screw is for fifth and sixth. This one is for reverse. Just a quarter turn or even a hair's turn either direction will make a huge difference on these set screws. So play around with it and you're going to have a nice smooth shifting shifter. With everything perfectly adjusted, our lateral play set in and out of gear, everything has clearance. The only thing left to do is the final installation. If you're enjoying the video so far, please use the links in the description when it's time to purchase parts for your car. Not sure what you need? Visit our webpage and you'll have access to categorized parts lists with instructional videos for your project. In doing so, you're supporting those who support Fat Boy's Garage. It's a quick, easy way to help us continue to create quality content that is going to help you with your own projects. We love our cars and we only use the best parts, which are the ones we recommend to you. We chose our supplier because of their amazing customer support and we are confident you'll be well taken care of by them.